They shout for me like this. I mean, it is, it is uh, me and you be made. Oh, it be like, maybe you get quarrel for the place where they were. Like, you know, you just quarrel for something. Like For years we've been married. No cry for child in this house. And you expect me to be happy. But what? But what? Fine, sir. Get fine, oh. Hey! See, I see the worker. So, that she greeted me better. She don't detour my prayer. Oh, Allah. You go pass another day and I will get you. Steps and the uh, such Opportunity to talk to this girl, whether she could really make her be friend now. That's if I need this girl. If this girl agree, Father will leave this work while it is. It will be this work, sir. Hello.
Good morning, sir. Good morning. How now? I'm fine, sir. Do you remember me? No, sir. That man, when you did the other day, where they pass here. Oh, I remember. Sorry. So, can I help you? Yes, yes. See, I want to make both of us be friend. See, if you forget about this work where they do. If you agree, make me and you to be friend. Let him be this job. I could leave her. So, let him be your name. My name? Yes. Okay. If you want to know my name. Hmm? Yes. My name is Lati Bimbola. Lati Bimbola. You don't say that I'm waiting to see. See, that's what I want to do. See. Forget about this work, buddy. As I told you. I will leave this job and get a better job where we say I'm going to get better something. You understand? I've heard you. But please, I'm late for lesson now. You can talk anytime, any other time. Outside waiting. This is not the first and the second time this girl is behaving like this. What kind of a problem is this? Lesson? Did you say lesson? Yes. What is it by your time? Sisters. Sister T. Oh. The lesson you people closes by 2 p.m. You are just coming back home now and you are telling me you're coming back from lesson. Lati? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure you're all right? Tell me, I'm okay. Are you actually telling me you're good? Listen, let me know. Let today be the first and the last time you'll ever come back this home this late! How am I even sure you're coming back from lesson? Are you not sure you've been roaming up and down with the stupid boys in the streets? And listen, let me tell you. If you allow yourself to be impregnated by this stupid fool, there, I'm sure you know what I will do to you. I'm sure you know me too well. Now give me the key to the house. Let me have the key to the house! Yeah. You sweet nervous smoke. My wife will be for village, no sweet rich as you sweet me. By this time, my organ of the day, just they come by this time. So. Oh, 
Don't let that guy go to help me. It's okay, it's okay. I've had it. We will commence treatment immediately. No! It's okay, it's okay. Sure, that's how the job is being done. Whenever a responsibility is given to you, you take it wholeheartedly. Wow, that sounds interesting. <laughs> uh, you must be a workaholic. <laughs> and Doc, I have something for you. Okay. okay. Hmm. All this for me, madam. <laughs> For oh, Christ's sake, this is too much. Oh, oh, well, well, but I don't have to mention this nothing. As far as I'm concerned, I, this is nothing compared to what you've done for me. Okay? Mm. Lati is my only daughter. And um, I cannot afford to lose her. You, daughter, please, you, you just don't mention, okay? No problem, no problem. All right. I want to take my leave now. Thank you so much. You have a nice day. Pastor. Pastor. Ah, Dr. Paul. I thought you had gone home after service. I want to see you. I hope everything is all right. To be sincere. There's a very big problem in my family now. What, what kind of problem? What is Pastor? If not for the fruit of the womb. Fruit of the womb? Yes. Yeah, what about fruit of the womb? Pastor, since I married my wife, first I said we're married. We've not had a child of our own. And we have done everything humanly possible to see if we can have a child of our own. All right. I want to encourage you to share up. Let your faith be strong. There is nothing the Lord cannot do. Everything will be all right. Huh? God will take absolute control. It's a small matter for God. You have heard testimonies in our church. You have seen testimonies even everywhere. You are not an exception, Dr. Bob. Pastor, what could be the problem? Eh? But we are tired of this whole thing. No, 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 no. Dr. Bob, don't say you are tired. Christians don't get tired so easily in the face of problems. No, don't say that. Where is the faith? Where is the faith? Remember, the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Pastor, what could be the problem? What could be the problem of our childlessness? Mm. Have you tried medical solution? Pastor, I've told you. We have done everything humanly possible. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, I'm a medical doctor. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, no problem. Uh, as I said before, all will be well. But as you can see now, I'm in a hurry. Someone is down. I'm going to offer prayers on emergency. So I want to refer you to Pastor Mike, my assistant. No, 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 Pastor. No, Pastor. I want to see you personally. Okay, please. I beg of you one thing. Let's see on Thursday. Will Thursday be okay for you? No, Thursday will be fine. Okay, what time? Okay, um, if I say in the morning I will, you may be busy in your office. No, 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 no. I'm self-employed. Uh, I have control over my time. Okay, now let's see by 11 o'clock Thursday morning. Yeah, 11 o'clock will be fine. You know, I'm very busy. After that, I'll be going for other activities. The Lord be with you. For the Lord God of the Lord. Only if God can give us just one, one child of our Lord, and our joy will be complete. God, God, please. God, please. God, please, God. God, please. Just one child. 
have swam. Honey, what kept you so long? I've been waiting for you inside the car. What is that supposed to mean? Eh? Are you saying that I stay so long? Yes, now. I've been waiting for you for so long. Now you said you come, let's start going before you, you, you start our son down to no quarrel. Eh? We're on the holy ground here. Yeah. Let's go. May God deliver you. Deliver you too. After your deliverance, my food. Let's go. Respect of what we discussed earlier. Yes, Pastor. Okay. Uh, please go straight to the point because I have uh, other people waiting for me. Actually, Pastor, it is because of my family problem. We have been married for years, and yet we have done everything humanly possible. In fact, Pastor, we are tired of the waiting. Don't say you are tired of the whole thing. You yourself are a man of God. Real Christians don't chicken out in the face of problems. Attack your persecution with perseverance. That's what the Lord said. It, it will be well with you. Don't give up. Keep trusting the Lord. It will be all right. Pastor, why wouldn't we? Huh? We've come for the goodness. And the test proved that we are physically fit. Pastor, what is the problem between me and my wife? What is the problem, Pastor? Pastor, what is actually wrong with us? What is the problem, Pastor? What? <clears throat> okay, okay. Don't worry about that. We will go into prayers. Let us climb the mountain and meet him at the throne of grace and power and authority. We are going to pray and meet the Lord. There is no problem he cannot solve. This is his area. Please give me your hands. Let's pray. But before we pray, we have to confess your sins to you. The Bible says, it is not as if God does not hear when we pray, but as sin is a hindrance to the answers to our prayers. And the Bible says that if you say you have not committed any sin, that you make God a liar. Because he said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of oh God. Oh God. Talk to God. Let us pray. And so, our Father, we have come. Your humble children have come with their load. Father, you said, all ye that are heavy laden, come unto me. Bring your burden that you cannot carry. And exchange with my yoke, daddy, they have come. Father, meet them at the point of their need. No matter how difficult the problem may be, Father, you are a problem solver. You are the be all and the end all. I don't know what you say, Kira. I don't know what you say, Kira. I don't know
Sir, it's unfair, sir. I'm left to do a lot of work. There are other doctors in this hospital. But yet, I am left to do a lot of work. I think I need time to take care of my family. Yes, I, I do know you need time to yourself and your family. I'm aware of the fact that a lot of job is given to you in this hospital. It is because of your truthfulness, professionalism and credibility in this job. Actually, nobody would like to take his or her relation to a hospital. And at the end of the day, the person loses his or her life. We have gained a lot with you in this hospital. We also have credibility in this hospital because of you. And above all, we smile in to the bank, week in, week out, with a lot of money. Sir, in this case, what do you suggest I do? Now listen, you are a DNC specialist now. Whatever job you are given in this hospital, do it very well. I want you for any job you are going to be given in this hospital to do it and do it very well. You are going to be rewarded. Above all, don't forget that very soon we are going to look at all the things you have done and I'm sure we will be uplifted. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So, you are welcome, sense of God. Thank you. Well, I've been expecting you since morning, and uh, I wonder what the matter was. It's because of the volume. I'm away from here. It's all right. Um, I God just spoke to me about you, Dr. Bob. <laughs> you were shown in a picture as a murderer. A murderer. Yes. Now, I want to ask you, how many people have you killed? I mean, I'm not a murderer. I'm, I'm, I'm not a murderer. You're not a murderer. So, does it mean that God is lying against you? Why not say the truth? Confess your sins. And set yourself free. Let me confess. Confess? Don't touch me! So I have been living with a murderer all along. Jesus, tell me, who and what are you? Confess your sins before God. Pastor, I gave my life to Christ when I was in College of Medicine. But I must let him. Two months I started practicing. I said, We'll go, Doctor. Sir, uh, you must be wondering why we are here. Yes, sir. This is your new apartment, and uh, this car is your car. This is the key. The 
management has decided to reward you for all your efforts. Sir, all this for me? The house? The car? Hey! Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. See, this house you are looking at has been well furnished. In short, let's go inside so that you can look at to bank every day. Promotion comes in a regular basis. We we'll pack from our old house to the new duplet they gave to us at the GRA. I never knew that the abortion, the DRC and the selling of babies we are doing will hurt me in future. Pastor, I was only trying to make ourselves comfortable. Sweetie, please forgive me. It's okay, honey. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Doc, uh, stop crying. All will be well. Everything will be alright. Yes, Pastor. God will settle the matter for you. Pastor, can God forgive me for all the sins I have committed? You see, confession comes before uh, forgiveness and salvation. Before God, you look like a new Christian. The dirty past is gone. The blood of Jesus Christ washes you clean. Amen. As the Bible says, anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And no one comes to God and he changes him away. So I want you to be confident that God has forgiven you. Confession goes before forgiveness and salvation. I can see my wife because she has gone through a lot. <laughs> In situations like this, most men blame their wives, not knowing that they are the cause of this problem. Yeah, you thank God, not me. And I thank God that we have been able to get to the source of the problem. I thank God for the revelations. And I know that by now, both of you know that you don't need anybody to tell you to desist from your evil ways. Because it takes two to tango. You see, I will not encourage you to quit your job. But as for the shedding of innocent children's blood and the selling of babies, you just have to stop it for it. Only then can the Lord open you the ways for you. Amendment will be made for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. 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 I don't even understand the whole system of things in this country. I mean, same here. I'm confused. I mean, I'm really, really confused. Look at the government. What is going well? Not even the media. You can't trust them. Eh? Something bad. Is that not coming? Of course, it's him. He's not supposed to be on duty today. Yeah, what's going on? Surely grow and bring the fruits that will pay you back. Watch what you say and what you do. Your face mean you. Why? You guys will not understand. I hope there's no problem. No problem. It's just a personal challenge. Let me see the director. Okay, no problem. Take care. Wear your last. What goes around 
will come around whatever you do um but do you think the decision you are taking or about to take is the best one yes boss i think so do you know what you just want to do to destroy the good reputation we have built the cordial relationship between us and our clients and the good name this hospital has made. Boss, sir, I want you to understand my plans and my predicaments. I'm in bondage here. My family is tearing apart. Please, try to understand. Understand what? There is nothing here to understand. Now listen, Bob. Bob. Yes, boss. Before you take the decision you are about to take, I want you to think about your job, your family, and above all, your wife, your good home. These are the things you have to put into consideration before you take any decision. I have finished with you, you can go. Good day. Thank you, boss. I'm finished. I am having a very serious family problem. What is the problem? It is a problem. We have not had a cast at the beginning in our house. Are you trying to find out if the fault is from you or your wife? Yes. In fact, okay. the fault is from me. Do you tell me that this propeller you are carrying pregnant all these girls as finally died? Stop that. Eh? It's not a joking matter. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Fact, I and my wife. We are okay. So what made you think earlier that the fault is from you? My pastor revealed it to me and my wife. That God should be. He said I'm a murderer before God. That's why I cannot have a baby. Murderer? No, 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 no. Why, why should you say that? I don't see which go on my life, let alone where you've killed somebody. It's not possible. Can this day I see that we may be taking lives, human beings. Uh, I can't have baby. Uh, these are human beings. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is the problem. I can't have a baby because of this day I see. These are human beings. Uh,
Select the people you treat, the patients, the clients you treat. I forgot I was told. I didn't turn any patients down. I only tried to make them to understand some decisions I took. Mm. Now listen to me. I'm not interested in your cup and book stories. This is the last time you will do this type of selection. You select people you treat, you leave others, you don't treat them. You don't have any right to turn anybody down. Do you have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. I leave my office. We'll leave my office. It is rewarding to do what is right. Living for others and changing lives Should be our drive when we choose for our call If what goes around will come around Whatever you do, whether good or bad Remember the seeds that you sow will surely grow and bring the fruits that will pay you back. Where is Mama? Ah, she has gone to the farm. Okay, okay. Right. You're welcome. Yes, please. Uh, what about Rosemary, your wife? Oh, she's fine, Papa. Uh, has she taken in? No, Papa. No. Openings are not good. Yes. Uh, so look at the other place. And uh, even some cracks. Yes. There are cracks here. Yeah. Yes. So you can see. Papa, mm -hmm. this has need to be renovated. Thank God. You are the one saying this. Because I've been thinking of how to present this matter to me anytime you come home. Yeah. Papa, mm -hmm. how much do you think it will cost? <laughs> you seem to have forgotten my profession. I will mess with my profession. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, Papa. <laughs> Okay, yeah. you know what you do for me? Yeah. Hmm? Check how much it will cost, then I'll give you the money. 
。OK。Son. Yes, Mama. Please just bear it in mind that I will be coming to Enugu soon. Once you are coming, let me know. Enugu has changed, not like before. Must I tell before coming to Enugu? Yes, Mama. You want me to tell you so that you take the message to your wife, eh? But just bear it in mind that any time, any day, I will be in Enugu. Mama, I have told you. If you are coming, just let me know. That is all. Papa, I'm going. Watch what you say and what you do. Won't even matter how much you pretend. Then all that you've done won't have its effect. But when you change it, Remember it pays So live your life like today were your last Has it crossed your mind? Or disturbed you as it is disturbing me? Uh, that your daughter-in-law called Rosemary, Bob's wife Has denied us of carrying our grandchild It no. disturbs me a lot No I thought as much as you did But uh, Probably the type of work he's doing is what is causing his delay of pregnancy in our daughter in law. Or should it be that he's a good working is not happy? Is there anything wrong with you? Though Bob is a vibrant young man, even if the woman is, is a tree or a, a, a trailer, Bob will impregnate her. But what I'm thinking is, what is the cause? Is that why you're shouting why at me? Why didn't I shout like that? Okay. I'm, I just made a simple suggestion. You don't have to suggest such a thing in the list. Uh, in any case, whatever it is that uh, is happening, I hope that girl will not deny us the right to have our grandchild. In, 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 in fact, it's even me that it, the whole thing is spinning me. You seem, to, you seem to have relaxed more than your children. Don't join the wagon when others do wrong. The evil men do will leave after leaving for others and changing lives. Should be a drive when we choose for our call. What goes around will come around. Whatever you do, whether do. Oga, okay, who you be? Uh, I am the father of uh, Bob. Oh, okay, wait, just wait. I don't allow this to enter here. What you carry? You carry picking? Yes. Now who get this picking? It's your your gas picking. Go and call the, the... my other get picking. I don't know. You they keep record of everything your guy get. My friend, go and call him because this son is not good for the child. Just wait. No, no, just enter. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait. No, no. no. Can't continue to wait on that this one with this child if this will continue to delay. What sort of thing is this? Don't join the wagon when others do wrong. The evil men do will leave after them. It is rewarding to do what is right. Leaving for 
welcome. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Look at this baby. It's the baby I brought for you. And it's okay, my daughter. Papa, why are you doing this? We did not discuss about this, Papa. Oh, we didn't discuss it, but there is need for a baby in this house. Bob, I came all the way from the village and went to the motherless baby's home to buy this child for you and your wife. So that carefully observing and looking after this baby by your wife, God will bless her and open her womb. He will give you a baby. Papa, why are you doing this? Do you want to destroy my family? My daughter, this child I brought, not to abuse you or to make you cry, but to help you that by taking good care of this child, God will open your own womb and you will be blessed with children. I know you are going to do it, but take this child from me. Bob, ask Papa. your wife to collect this child from me. Papa, go back with this child. Bob, I'm not stepping out an inch with this baby. You must take the child. Not with this child. I'm not taking this child. Go back to Papa. What is all this, Papa? You must take this child. We must go back with this child. I, I will not go back. With this child. We must go back with this child. I cannot leave this compound with this child. Go back. I'm not taking this child. I know they come down. I am not coming down. You must take me to the hospital before I come down. Madam, come down now. I am not coming down. When you they enter gallop, they do the gallop, they do the gallop. I tell you, say, I get serious waist pain. But you tell me they enter gallop. You must take me to the hospital before I come down. Madam, come down now. You don't say the road day bad. Not be me cause and not be my fault. The road day bad now. Now maybe the government will go do the road. Will you shut up that your dirty mouth before I shut it for you? Hey, not no, my fault. Is it my fault? Nonsense. This my come down for. I go start to the BTO. I go start to the BTO. Me, 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 beat me. Do you know me? But I'm a beggar, I don't want your trouble. Eh? I beg, I don't want your trouble. You know, sir, that you must say you is a beggar. You never see anything. Make you carry your wahala job. I beg, make you never see about. anything. You don't want my trouble. Eh? I don't see your time for this road. Not be today where I start this job, make I tell you. If you think that today where I start this job, they make me sick. I don't see your time. Uh -huh. Your type will not agree. So, make I just tell you. Carry your wahala and they beg in the name of God. Just give me my money. Carry your wahala, they go. I don't want trouble, I beg. I'm not giving you any money. I'm not giving you any money. You must take me to the hospital before I give you money. Even I say you'll be troublemaker. You want trouble? You want trouble? You want trouble? Eh? They call you troublemaker. You go say trouble now. Troublemaker. You never see your bag. Carry your bag, give me my money. You never see anything. You never see anything. I don't look and say you be my mama age. Otherwise, I for done. Oh, even no say you get somebody like me for house. I be your mama age. Now you insult me. Now you insult me. They beg you, carry your bag. Give my money, make a big go. You they waste my time here. I they give you this money. Because of God. If not be God, I will not give you this money. Thank you very much. Carry your trouble away. Carry whether I'm from village, they come from I've been from Mugasa. Just carry them, they go away. Come out here. Carry you. Carry the happy. Carry you. Troublemaker. You are a troublemaker. Are you? Where are you? Are you? Carry you. You're a young man.
with the grace. You want to this? Yes, I call you witch, and I'll call you witch over and over again because you're witch. They don't produce children for their husband and their families. You have eaten all the children in your womb and sell people's blood. Answer me, is that not true? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not true. Yeah. No, it's true. No, it's not true. Get that from my <laughs> and stop this up with that test and tell me where my son is. I say, Where is my son? You think he can come here? Uh, oh this my God. This is you do not help me. Oh. Hey? You were a witch. You are a good woman. You have eaten all the children. Oh. Come on, my bag. This side. Oh. Oh. Why did you try it? Oh, oh my God. This is a good woman. Now we hear it. 
They will hear it. You are asking me out of your house. They will hear it. Treatment that I have given to you for just no cause. Hmm? Like, we used to be best of friends hmm? as mother and daughter. And I don't know what happened. Please, my daughter, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Put everything that has happened between us in behind you. Just no cause in the name of having grandchildren. Hmm? Hmm? No mother in law who no wants a daughter in law to have grandchildren for her. Hmm? Please, my daughter. Hmm? After all, it's God that gives children, not human beings. Please forgive me. Pardon me. <laughs> But you know I don't have anything against you. I beg you for forgiving you. I'm forgiving you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. <laughs> I appreciate your kindness. You're welcome. Appreciate it. That's okay. Something good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Uh... You won't believe it. Mama apologized to you. Mama did what? <laughs> that she forgive her. Hey! And what was your reaction and response? Of course I've forgiven her. In fact, most things like cleaning and cooking, we did them happily together today. Ah, that's, that's great. I love that. <laughs> I love that. You see, when mama is in her good mood, she always like that. And you always like to be with her. You see, that means peace. And happiness has been restored in this house. I'm very, very happy. Yes, you're married, you're beautiful. 
built yourself a good house. Not just an ordinary house, but a well-built house. <laughs> I hear you. You can say that again. Of course, I can say it anytime, any day. You can't compare yourself with me. Yes, I'm married, but who is still managing in the tenant house? I've not been able to complete an ordinary bungalow. <laughs> but it's not late yet. Every dream is achievable, provided there is life. We will get there. Yes, they say once there is life, there is hope. Let's hope my name will appear on the next promotion list. As for you, you've got nothing to worry about because your name is already there. That will be if only management will allow me to be with you guys. Oh, no, no, don't go there. They can't do such thing. Don't they have conscience? They know what you've put into this job. If only the management thinks that way. Come to think of it, why can't you find a way of settling this issue amicably with the management? The only way is to compromise, which I can't. We can't afford to hurt God any further. Why are you guys staring at me that way? Enjoy yourselves. Oh, thanks. About this attitude, job. I have tried to fix it into something good. Mm -hmm. 
into good business, but you refuse. Yeah. I don't know what is so special about teaching people kids that know nothing, kids that give you headache. Hmm? A whole lot, my dear. <laughs> See, teaching those kids gives me great joy. It feels like they're my own children. Mm, I see. Mm, I see. So, being in their midst gives me joy. Mm, I so, see. Anyway, everyone has one or two things that he or she delights in doing. Mm -hmm. If teaching is what you want, mm -hmm. I have some. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday and sorter. I think that was not enough. You went 
ahead and broke her eyeglasses. Auntie, it's a lie. She was the one who fought my and the eyeglass fell down and got broken. Is that so? Hmm. Casey, why are you? Tell me what happened yesterday. Auntie, it's a lie. That's why I bought me yesterday and broke my eyeglasses. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell her that's the one who fought Kelsey and broke her eyeglasses. She even has a witness, and you are still lying to me. Now, go on your knees. Go on your knees. Today, after fooling you, I will teach you a lesson that you will not forget today. So that next time, if you see your fellow student, you will not find for him or her trouble. Now, show me your hand. deliberately destroyed his fellow students' eyeglasses. And when the case was reported to me, I flogged him. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go on, go on. The boy's mother came to the school today. She humiliated me in front of my students. She humiliated me in front of some staffs. She, 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 she just humiliated me. She said that I want to kill her son. Me. I want to kill her son. Hey. Only do you know the most painful part of it all is that? She said I'm a wish. What? She's mad. Who is she? Huh? Who is she? I will deal with her. I will deal with her. Wait, I'm coming. Honey, I'm coming. Honey, I'm coming. Honey, come down. Honey, come. Down. Honey, come. Down, honey, please calm down. I'm begging the name of God. Calm down. Whatever you do, whether good or bad, remember the seeds. Good day, Mrs. Rosemary. Good day, my sisters. How was your night? It was great to. It was great. Thank you. It was fine. It was okay. Alright, let me go to class. See you guys. Oh, we are going to start. Alright. 
Oh my dear, as regards to what happened yesterday, I have been thinking. Come, let me ask you. Do you really think that that woman is a witch? What? Was it because of what that woman said yesterday? I don't know. That was what she said. I don't know why some likes tarnishing other people's image. But when it comes to invention and innovation, there will be nowhere to be found. You will not see them in the picture. My dear, listen. You see that woman? That woman has no problems at all. Her inability to give birth, it shouldn't be enough reason why she should be criticized. Besides, it's only God that gives children and not you and I. Right, let's go. My dear, it's okay. This is just good. Great, and um, where are you right now? I'm at school. Did you say Bob Rose's hospital? Yes, of course. Oh, no, no, not at all. Um, please, is it a new hospital? Yes, Okay, okay, it's all right. Um, please, be, in case you get to the meeting before me, please do kindly write my name because I don't know when I'll be true where I am right now. Let me review the tactics of situation for you gentlemen and lady. For those of you who don't know, Bob now owns a hospital. Yes, I got the information from a reliable source. So tell me, why wouldn't he prove stubborn to his supervisors? Why would he not dispute some policies he thinks will not be favorable to him? Because he has something to fall back to if paraventure he's asked to leave tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have is a problem. And we have to do something as fast as possible before it gets too late. Because from the way I see this thing, we are on the losing side, not on the winning side. <laughs> uh, Bob thinks he's stubborn. He thinks he can ruin my life. He thinks he can destroy what I have built for so many years. He wants to destroy it in a twinkle of an eye. It's not possible. No. No, it will never happen. Never! Anyway, Bob has been a good fellow, nice to us, good on the job. But that should not be the reason why he should go against the policy and the principle of the organization. Like Steve said, we have to do something very fast before it's too late. Though, I may still need to talk to him. There's no time for that, Steve. No time at all. There is no time for that. Make sure you give drugs to that patient on the other side. Okay, the one at the lateral position. Yes. Give her drugs. Okay. Hey, Mr. Ball. Yeah, good day, Mr. Ken. Yeah, what can I do for you? We need to talk. Okay. Pali, there is a problem. A board meeting was held yesterday against you over your refusal to abide the policy and principle of the management. Okay, what and what were said about me? A lot of things were said. 
In fact, a serious decision was made. The way I'm looking at things, you may lose this job. <laughs> I know. What? You know? Yeah. Yes, I know. I don't want to do something about it. Look, we don't want to lose it. We need you in this job. Come on. In fact, you consider your job before any other thing. What do you want me to do? <laughs> well, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. Decisions can be reversed. You can find a way to amend your decisions you have already taken. Well, I know your predicament. But... But what? Eh? But what? In fact, I'm true with you. Eh? Have a nice day. I work out of me. Okay, no problem. We shall see. to him just like any reasonable man could do trying to make him say reasons why he should come back and he refuses i don't think any other person is going to say okay 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 um ken let's tell ourselves the truth supposing you find yourself in bob's shoe what would you do no let's be frank and open I will follow my heart. Exactly. That's exactly what Bob did. He followed his heart. So let's leave the management to take their decision. Okay. Don't join the wagon when others do wrong. The evil men do will leave after them. It is rewarding to do what is right Living for others and changing lives Wow, you're watching Bob. What's this close? Which people are playing? Tell me. Please leave me. I'm not in the mood, okay? I'm sick and tired of all this hospital job. What nonsense! Eh? Wait, do they think we can't survive without their job? Without that their stupid abortion job? Is that the only hospital in this country? It's okay, it's okay. No, don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me, no, 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 I don't want to hear it. Don't tell me to calm down. Eh? What type of nonsense is this? God forbid, God forbid, you will stop that job. You will stop it. Eh? What nonsense? What about the World Health Organization? What is their view about this abortion you see? It's optional. Optional? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, wait. What about UNICEF and probably the Organization for Medical Practitioners in this country? Eh? What is their view? You see, abortion is not completely condemned. But why do you ask? I'm thinking of something. And what is that? Let's file a case. Hmm? Let's file a case. Let's get a good lawyer. I think that, that's the only way to clear this whole dust. Eh? 
I thought about that. But you see, that, that, is, that, is, not, that is not the best solution. Why? Because I'm in the picture. I am the key abortionist. Time to think about this your decision. Eh? And be sure this is what you want to do. Please. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for your time, okay? Yeah, well, I really appreciate it. Okay. I'll see you now. Yeah. for quite some time now. What's the problem? Have you not heard? Heard what? Bob Johnson. Yeah. I'm aware. He told me. What? And you are running people just like that? What do you want me to do? I tried everything possible to change his mind. It didn't work. All my efforts were abortive. What do you want me to do? I, I, I'm tired of this whole thing. Shit! Thinking for a stable name for that hospital. <laughs> but it's not coming. But as for Bob Rose's, mm. it's accepted. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Okay, tell me, what level is it now? Um, it's almost completed. Serious? Yeah. Okay. In fact, I will unveil it. Oh, my next week. <laughs> oh, <honey. laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay. Honey? Mm. You know what? Yeah.
Make sure you have this address today. All right, right sir. Okay. Yes. has been confirmed. Bob's hospital has been inaugurated and unveiled. Doctors and nurses are there. Business is going on. God. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Bob, you think you are smart. You think you can frustrate me? All that I have used so many years to build, you want to destroy it in a twinkle of an eye? Bob, you cannot. You cannot, Bob. But I told you. I warned you earlier, but you wouldn't listen. Now look at this. look at what is happening now. Yes, I know what to do. I know what to do. Hello? Fixer? Fixer? Yes, yes. Yeah, Douglas. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see today at the usual place. Exactly. Exactly, yes. Um, eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Dot, eight o'clock dot. Okay. Okay, thank you. From 8.30 down. He's in the house. Married or single? Married without kids. So what do you want? Execution. Consider it dog. I don't want any trace at all. You need to know more about me. Hmm? I'm a professional in this business. Huh? All my cities. Ah, uh, don't you trust me again? Everything is ready. Just do the assignment. So that the power they tell you that, but okay, nine minutes. Yeah, we'll take a one day now. Mm.
So many times. She's not picking her call. Huh? What is the problem? And Mama has gone back to the village. Who do I call now? Eh? Doctor. What are the woman? Doctor, we are safe. The woman is ready for delivery. Okay, go on, come on. Let me call Ahmed. Call Ahmed. Ahmed, uh -huh. tell my wife to pick her call. I've been calling her since. Tell her to pick her call. Okay, go now, go now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I go to her, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. to be. Just imagine. It was an accident. It was an accident. That's what you're telling me, that it was an accident. Anyway, I know what to do. So, as I was telling you, we're here for serious business. Yes. No sentiment. Serious with your professional because this is a word that will make mistakes. It will boomerang. Yeah. Um, good day, sir. And sorry, we are looking for one Dr. Ball. Okay. What can okay. I do for you? Information getting to us says that you and your medical teams have not been following the ethics of this medical profession. What? That is. That the use of fake drugs in this hospital is at a higher rate. In view of this, your attention is needed at the station for questioning. Okay. Tell my wife to call my lawyer that has been arrested by the police. Alright, sir. What goes around will come around. Whatever you do, whether good or bad, remember the scene. Hello? What? What the 
What happened? Oh my god. Which police station was he taken to? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Hello? Yes. Barista. Good day, Barista. My husband has just been taken to my 50 police station. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate my good. Oh, you my khaki. Dr. Pope was arrested because he was accused of treating his patients with adulterated drugs. And also, he has not been following the ethics measures of the profession. DPO, please, I would like people to grant him bail. I will allow the Drugs Enforcement Agency and the police people to carry out the investigation. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Please, you help me. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Barrister. We have conducted a series of investigations and tests, but all the allegations levied against this man and his team workers were all false. I mean, there was no atom of truth in the allegation. What? Are you telling me that young man is innocent? I am sure of what I am telling you. Please, don't tell me this. Hello? Please, who is handling Mr. Bob Ezekulu's case? Tell Inspector Mike to see me in my office immediately. Please, sir. I will see what I can do. I assure you. Thank you. Barista, thank you very much, especially for bailing me. So, how is my wife? I'm sorry, I've not been able to tell you. Your wife had an accident. She's in the hospital. What? What happened? No wonder she has not come to see me. Actually, she had an accident when she had that you've been arrested. So, how is she now? Anyway, we thank God she's getting better. Don't join the wagon when others do wrong The evil men do, we'll leave after them This is Rosemary Yes, Doctor You look stronger today, so how are you doing? I'm getting stronger and stronger, Doctor But I want to see my husband Oh, sweetheart, your husband is here yeah. I miss you too. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Doctor. Uh, doctor, thank you. Please, I'll let you see my office tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. You say we should see you. So, what is it? Yes. Actually, we conducted a series of tests on your wife before we commenced the treatment. That's the result. Congratulations, sir. Your wife is still with me. 
That's all. I didn't get you there. It's true. Jesus! Finally, God has proven to us that we still have a belief and trust in Him. We'll never be forgotten by Him. <laughs> Inspector James from State CID, huh? and here is my colleague, I'm Sergeant Tony from State CID. Mm -hmm. Sir, you're under arrest for the murder of one Mr. Ahmed, and for being false accusation against your head staff, Dr. Bob. I mean, well, we can we can sort out this thing. What do I? Uh, can, we can handle this. No, 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 sir. <laughs> to be used against you in the court of law. Silence, arrest him. What goes around will come around. Whatever you do, whether good or bad, remember the seeds that you sow will surely grow and bring the fruits that will bear. Should be 